The historic Congressional Cemetery is home to thousands that have been laid to rest over the last 207 years. The cemetery hosts a number of events from funeral, chapel services, and even yoga classes. Since last spring, the cemetery began its yoga mortis class that takes place in the cemetery's chapel. The cemetery's programming director, Lauren Malloy, says that programs like the yoga class create an inviting atmosphere to the cemetery. It gives people the opportunity to really learn their history, their D.C. history and American history, um, by inviting people in to do things that they're used to doing, like yoga, we have 5K runs, we have lectures. Um, but while you're here, you kind of get a sense that you're part of a community, um, but that also you're in a very important historic place. Historians, artists, and even Vice President Elbridge Jerry are buried here at the Congressional Cemetery. But 20 years ago, things like dog walking and yoga classes didn't take place here in the cemetery. Karen Howe has lived in the community for over 16 years, and she says that the cemetery was not always the beautiful landmark we see today. There would be people in far corners doing things who knows what. So it was kind of a dangerous place, and you would walk with friends. You would, I wouldn't come here in the middle of the day then and walk by myself. We walk the dogs almost every day. Uh, at the cemetery and there's always, I don't know, 15 or 20 people walking around. Thanks to programs like yoga mortis and dog walking, the Congressional Cemetery is not just a place for burying loved ones, but a space for the community to create and enjoy an active lifestyle. For Howard University News Service, I'm Leah Henry.